In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first hexagon with the green border here. You can add the icon, the title and the detailed text and then I've added the option number one. When I click, it will show me the option two with a different color combination, option three, option four, option five and option six. And I've created a few more slides with the help of this design. You can see here, I've added only three options here. And here also I've given some different colors. And here I've given something like this where it is not uh, interlinking uh, with this one. And you can make something like this as well. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the shape, the hexagon, draw the hexagon by holding the shift key. Make sure to align center, align middle. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and give a different color. Hold the shift key and reduce the size. Align center, align middle. Now what the next step which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the smaller hexagon shape from the bigger one. For that select the blue one, the blue hexagon, hold the shift key, select the smaller one which is the red color go to the merge shape and subtract it you can see here the moment i subtract it, it looks something like this and shape outline make it no outline now the next step which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into half for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle cover the top part only you can see here all right then select the hexagon Hold the shift key, select the rectangle shape, more shape and subtract. So we end up getting a shape which looks something like this. Move this aside here. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate. And if you want to give some different color, you can give different color and then rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical and put it exactly on top of this one. Again, zoom in and adjust it, align it properly. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the control shift key and move towards the right. Again, make sure that it is properly aligned. It looks like it's properly aligned. So once this is done, I'm going to insert the hexagon shape once again. Go to insert shape, select the hexagon once again. Again, hold the shift key. Depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So I'm going to keep this much size shape outline make it no outline and if you want to change the background you can give any background color for example i'm going to give this background color and then i'm going to make this as a white fill it is not visible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a border here you can see here and then go to the effects shadows and give some shadow effect so maybe this one so it looks uh, more clear now now hold the control shift key bring to the extreme right and again one more in the center you can see here it looks something like this all right the next thing which you can do is you can add three more shapes here at the top uh, if you want you can just keep it three also you can work with three so before i'm going to add the the top one let me just insert some icons here so I'm going to randomly select three icons again depending on the requirement you need to choose the right icons for your presentation so one icon I'm going to choose this one and one more this one and maybe one this one and click on insert icons got inserted and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.5 and put it here one will go here the second will go here the third will go here again depending on the color uh, of this one you can just choose the color so here this comes blue this should be green and here i'm going to give a different color so go to the shape format i'm going to give maybe a purple and so here also it goes the purple so let me just select this one and make this as purple 
then go to insert text box i'm going to type title here and any font of your choice you can use i'm going to use open sans semi bold center align and put the title here exactly in the center hold the control shift key bring to the second option and bring to the third one then go to the insert text box add the details so equals lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete this select it center align reduce the font size to 12 and maybe you can give some gray color and put it here you can see here again if you want you can just bring it up hold the control shift key bring to the second one make sure it is properly aligned and then the third one all right and again you can add some text option here the like one two three the numbers again i'm going to use the font open sans extra bold center align if you want you can increase the size and i'm going to put this as one here hold the control shift key bring to the second one and then to the third one and so this is my second option and this is my third option so you can see here so one of the design you can make like this and if you want to add few more uh, options like six right mouse click duplicate this one now i'm going to select all of this and i'm going to drag it down you can see here here and then the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select only these options press ctrl d to duplicate move it up ctrl g to group it shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and i'm going to place exactly here and then again depending on the requirement you can just change the colors of this maybe i'm going to use some blue color and here i can use some kind of this orange color all right so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape only press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate and move it here all right again hold the ctrl shift key move it here and move it here so you can see here now this is my one this is two sorry this is two this is three option number three this is option number four option number five and option number six all right and if you want to change the icons of this one so you don't need to delete it just select the icons go to the graphic format change graphics select from icons and just choose the, any icon depending on your requirement so i'm going to randomly choose a different icon here maybe i'm going to choose this one and click on insert so you can see here and then i just need to change the color as per the color which i've used here same thing goes here again for this one let me just select go to the graphics format change graphics from icons again choose the appropriate action uh, sorry icons depending on the requirement so maybe i'm going to choose a kind of uh, this ball and click on insert like that you can just change and this one will be a dark blue color all right so you can just do so many different different uh, uh slides with the help of this particular design and if you want to do some basic animation you can do the animation effect for example i'm going to select this one press ctrl shift g to ungroup this one so close this go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give a wipe effect here and wipe effect make it from left so it comes like this and this one and this one i think it's already grouped right yeah so before animation make sure it's grouped add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select basic zoom click ok and this should happen after previous now it's very easy i'm going to select this one animation painter click on this then i'm going to select this animation painter click here then comes the third one and then the same animation painter i'm going to do so if i play 
it comes something like this you can see here similarly you can do the same animation for the bottom options as well 